Hey you guys, so um, before I go and color my hair, I have just decided that I wanted something sweet. So this is what I usually make for myself if I want something sweet. I will make a fruit smoothie. So I'm gonna use, this time I have frozen blueberries, but let me tell y'all, you could get frozen peaches, frozen pineapples, frozen mangoes, and oh my gosh, you can make it taste like you're eating like a peach cobbler or a, a, some type of dessert if you do it right, okay? And no, I'm not talking about adding lots of sugar and lots of things because that will make this completely unhealthy. You can use some healthier choices in your smoothie and it's still gonna taste good because it's all about the little touches um, that you're adding in there that will make it actually taste amazing. So um, I'm gonna use uh, some frozen blueberries first uh oh lord jesus i'm going too fast i'm gonna drop some blueberries okay so that's about enough that's about enough okay and then um this is what i love to add just a little bit of pure vanilla vanilla extract because this is what's gonna help it taste like a blueberry pie also we're gonna shake some ground nutmeg in there as little or as much as you like then i'm going to add some cinnamon and i just dropped it in the sink that's why it's all wet lord jesus so i'm just gonna add some ground cinnamon all right as little or as much as you like next Next, I'm going to add this. This is the juice of it, okay? And there's no sugar added, but it's a probiotic. So it's by the brand Good Belly Probiotics. It is raspberry and blackberry flavored, okay? If you wanna get into what the ingredients are, I mean, I guess I could tell you. It's really just water, pear juice, uh, raspberry, all of that but it has um so many good probiotics for you that you can you know use it says it has 299 v of lactobacillus. child i can't pronounce that this bacteria is 299 of them and uh yeah it's really good so it's helping you to get your probiotics in that you need every single day and it helps to liquefy your little drink here so I don't measure nothing, honey. That's probably about a, a half a cup or a cup, something like that. I don't know. So then, let me see where I could tell y'all. Okay, so on the uh, Nutribullet thing, so it's about halfway marked to the, the max line. Okay, and I might add just a little bit more because my next ingredient that I'm going to add is coconut milk. So I am adding unsweetened coconut milk. And I know what you're thinking. Girl, that's not going to be good because everything you put in there is unsweetened, unsweetened, unsweetened. Wait to the last step. But this coconut milk is going to make it nice and creamy. Now, I also, I have done this in the past. I've added some um, kefir to my smoothie. So I'll put like the juice or whatever I'm using. And then I will add some kefir. And that gives me some extra probiotics as well. So I'm gonna fill this up to the line where it says max. Okay. And then you may be thinking, well, what are you gonna do to make it sweet? So y'all know I love honey. I love honey with everything. Um, and I'm gonna use my brother, Nate. This is my brother, okay? my brother in the Lord, because on every Nature Nate's product, he puts scripture. Thy word is sweeter than honey. Psalm 119 verse 103. Yes, Lord. So I'm sticking with my brother, Nate. So we're going to add, this is probably, probably a tablespoon not more than a tablespoon. So if, it, if that wasn't a full tablespoon, I'm just saying, you could use up to a full tablespoon. So yeah, oh no, I forgot one more thing. So I also add some powders. Now, um, I am not big on protein powders anymore. I used to be back in the day, but I don't do that no more. So 
Um, what I'm going to do today, though, is I'm going to add some matcha powder. Um, what I have done in the past when I use like my peaches or mango or something like that, I will add the golden milk super blend. And this has a ton of adaptogens and good for you um, things that will reduce inflammation. So, you know, we don't suffer from inflammation over here, or rather I should say I don't, um, but you can always use a good boost or a good, you know, other ingredient to help to calm down any inflammation that you may be experiencing. Because the things that we eat nowadays, just just be honest, it causes inflammation in our body. Um, so this has turmeric, maca, uh, goji berry, cinnamon, stevia, ginger, botswella, gargum, uh, cardamom, and black pepper. So this is a very, very, very good, and I might add a little bit. The only reason why I don't typically add it when I'm using blueberries is because I like to keep my drink this purplish, you know, color, and this kind of changes the color because it has that turmeric in it, and y'all know turmeric is a very, very strong yellow orange type of thing so but i definitely am gonna add some matcha 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 and i know y'all don't come for me this is not the ceremonial grade matcha because there's all different types of levels of matcha um but this is what i think is most convenient for me and i do get some uh benefits from matcha powder so i added one teaspoon but I think that that was a little bit more than one so let me let me go with one and a half okay so we did one and a half and now I got my honey in there now if I could get this on okay so we're gonna get it on I'm bring our little neutral bullet thing over here we're gonna flip it and let it go take this off sorry y'all got my straw in my mouth trying to talk at the same time so we're gonna take this off we're gonna go rinse it out in the sink keep everything clean all right now I'm gonna put this little handy dandy lid on here and I'm gonna have my little dessert so as you can see, I didn't add too much sweet stuff. Let me taste it, see if it turned out. Yes, 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 yes. This is so delicious. This is exactly what I needed. Now, if you want to, you can add, if you don't have that probiotic juice that I said, you can add kefir, milk kefir. It's just gonna make it creamier, but you need to add some type of watery juice to make it liquidy like this unless you want it to be super thick like a shake if you want it to be super thick then of course use your uh milk kefir your um i use goat milk or goat kefir so i'll put the goat kefir in there and then um you know the coconut milk and it makes it really really creamy like a milkshake or something like that um or if you don't have any of that just add a little bit of lemonade um to your drink now that's gonna make it sweeter um but if that's your sweet treat for today and you would have had some lemonade anyway then just go ahead and add it with your fruit and you know so that you could be filled up while you're eating something or sipping something that's sweet okay all right y'all so go ahead and give it a try it's very healthy for you and it'll take that sweet tooth right on out all right y'all bye